I expected the sun would be out today. I waited for a couple minutes, but then it seems like the sun is not going to come out. So I can't stay here forever. So I'm just going to record and if it doesn't turn out to be good, I'll just come through another day. But we'll see what this footage looks like in post-production. But this is not so burned in here and I'll see you guys after the entry video. So we are exploring and yeah we'll get to three today. Transitioning from yeah we'll get to three to four. It's going to be a little hard to tell where the boundary is. But I guess I'll figure it out though. So yeah, by the way, ah, why am I starting off on low energy? Crap. So I woke up to 870 subscribers yesterday. I have no idea how many subscribers I am I'm on today. But as usual, to anybody that watches my video, I always start off my video by thanking all of my subscribers, thanking the, the people that are subscribed to the channel, and those of you that will, a big shout out to you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. And as always, uh, I'm always a bit slow when it comes to exploring the first street because I'm usually trying to figure out the boundary between one part of me will get to, to from the other <sighs> and hopefully I did not screw up the camera angle because I can only get it right one time otherwise I'm gonna have to take off the helmet and figure out what it looks like <sighs> The sun was out a while ago, uh, like about an hour before I took off and five to ten minutes after my takeoff, it disappears. For a second there it seemed like it, it looked like it was going to rain, but I don't think it will. It's just, uh, there are some thick clouds covering the sun, but if I was to look up at 12 o'clock, by noon, it's going to be bright. It's just up on, the clouds have covered the sun up on the mountains. Anyway, hopefully the breaking point of, you know, we'll get to two from three is up ahead. I'm not going to count the plus today, just check them out. So far, I think I've counted five. And six. So this road here is a little messed up. The other ones are not tarmac to pave, but still, they're somehow good. This one's pretty bad.
that goes uh, six or seven. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have made 15 videos so far on within Bujumbura city, 15 videos. And if you've, if you've watched all 15 of my videos and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, it's not fair. You should have subscribed, but okay. This looks like an, a, an official border point between, yeah, we'll get to two and three. This is definitely the breaking point. Uh, let's see. And so, yeah, subscribe to the channel because I deliver these, these videos on a weekly basis. Okay, I'm going to have to decide if um yeah we'll get to two ends at this point or from that point it's really hard to tell <sighs> okay huh Let's go, let's turn back. <sighs> Plot number eight. If I was going to take, uh, Based on what he just told me, and if I was to take a calculated uh, guess, I am in Nyelugete 3 right now. This road right here separates 3 from 4. Plot number 9. The sun is finally out. I don't have to worry about the footage being bad quality. And so the sun is finally out. It's going to be extremely hard for me to tell you guys where. Yeah, we'll get to two separates from three. Down there, it seems like it's Kimindo. And... <laughs> Just to be safe, let's head back. Okay. The only thing I am certain of right now is that I am absolutely in three. I'm just not sure when I'm over there. Uh, and so somebody asked me a question. Uh, wasn't a question rather. <laughs> Uh, somebody on the channel had assumed that I was a Burundian American citizen and was pretending to be purely Burundian, rather, not pretending, rather, he thought I was hiding the fact that I was Burundian American. For some reason, he assumed that I didn't want to tell that I was partly American.
and guys I said that on my second video on the channel the video where I I took a trip to the Congolese border all the way from Kigowe to the Congolese border I mean I gave out a whole I talked about my life story in that video I said everything there was to say I'm not going to repeat it today but all I'm gonna say is uh, I'm not American never been to America never been to Europe the only time I ever left Africa and went abroad was to go to India I've never been anywhere else and uh understandably he said that because because i was uh he assumed i was american because of my accent and i get that uh the thing is i don't know so many burundians speak uh english the way i do without having to live in america or anywhere or in any country that is uh I don't know natively English me I it's an accent that I picked up it's an accent that I forced to have so you can say I wanted to speak this way and so I don't know what to say movies friends and the fact that I was in King School Kings International School in Burundi for a while is the reason why I speak the way I do so yeah but if you want to hear about my life story then just watch uh, that video I'm gonna post it I'm gonna put it on the link above it should be somewhere around here I talk about my life story in that video so yeah Today's video is going to take up a lot of uh, space in the memory. I'm going a little too slow. A lot of uh, yeah, we'll get to still under construction. And it has uh, so many unfinished projects. A lot of houses are incomplete. Here goes the borderline. We came from out there. Now I see. That's the football, the football pitch that I saw the other time. Yeah, we'll get to the three ends of that pitch going down there. So this might actually be a short video. Those of you that have that have been praying to. <laughs> For me to upload, for me to upload uh, short videos, are finally gonna get your wish granted. See, the thing is, it's honestly impossible to trim down my videos to 20 minutes because then that would mean that I have to cut off some parts of the neighborhood 
and then post the video which doesn't i don't know it just doesn't seem authentic to me it's the whole point of the video is just to explore for instance i don't know i tried breaking them down but i couldn't go below i couldn't go below 30 38 minutes today i might be able to do 30 maybe i don't know we'll see <sighs> This house here, these houses here are done by a particular company. I'm going to find out what that company is and talk to them. Okay, let's go in here. You guys will have to forgive me if I end up in the wrong Nyabugete. If I end up in four and name the video three, you're gonna have to forgive me because it's not easy to tell these boundaries. I'm gonna try my best to not lose myself out here though. Then again, I don't want to go too far out and end up in the wrong. Yeah, we get to. have a feeling that I went in too far. <laughs> ah. I might have gone in too far. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna... This is gonna be one of those videos where you just, uh, where you just choose to take a guess and Hopefully nobody calls you out on it. But this is pretty long. This is a very... I need to go faster than this. Uh... There goes a mosque. I was here at a certain point. I 
I'm just gonna take a bet and assume that Neil will get the three ends here. Because, uh. This area looks completely different. Hmm. I don't know. Everybody's confused. But uh, look, <laughs> I'm definitely sure beyond, I'm sure that everything on my left side is definitely Nyawagete, it's some other place, but not Nyawagete 3. <sighs> let's go, let's go back to the right side. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to make this video any longer than it's. I'm just gonna have to we're in three we're lost but we're definitely in three that's for sure We're still in the rainy season, the sun doesn't want to be constant at all. Light, light. I don't know man, I think this is going to be my last video on uh, Nyewugete, I mean, ah, I've dragged it on for so long, I don't want to explore Nyewugete anymore. I think we've seen everything there is to see, I saw that car, I'm on the wrong street, I've been on this street, ah crap, I'm repeating the video, I've been here. Nice house. It'll be nice when it's done. And so the sun won't stop teasing. Showing up. I'm going back again. Okay, hold on. Let me check to see if the camera angle's good because I don't want to waste footage and time. I'll be right back. This is another one of those houses. There's something familiar about all these houses and I'm telling you, they are designed by the same company.
Okay guys, I've uh, I've made a decision. This is my last video on Nyawugeti. Mm. My next video will be... Nah, I'm not gonna say what my next video is. But why not though? I'm thinking... Kinindo, I'm thinking Kinanira. I'm thinking... Uh, uh, Kivenga. You know, areas that are close by. You know, we get to so far and trying to figure out where three from four is will be hard. And I've already recorded 30 minutes of footage so far. That didn't even feel like 30 minutes to me. That's the football field over there. Come on. It's a bar slash it's a venue. Down there is the beach that I was uh, that I was in in my previous video on Nyawugeti and that guy said that the stadium marks the end of uh, Nyawugeti 3 going down south towards the lake and so anything else that I need to explore would be within the insides in this area I don't know, there's something about me and uh, seeing good architecture. I love coming across good architecture. I don't like plain houses. If you're plain on the outside, okay, fine. Just don't be plain on the inside too. Because it's a box that you get to live in for all your life. So you want to you want to design it in a way that you see something different every day. We've been there. We've been down there too. Um, let's take a right. This is one of those neighborhoods that's. Uh, yeah, we get to three is one of those neighborhoods that's hard to explore because the symmetry is not uh, the same all throughout. It's supposed to be one continuous street that leads into the other. It's supposed to be a continuous street across and then another street. I don't even know what I'm saying. Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger on the wall? Okay. What the hell is this house about? <laughs> um, a 
Okay, I am on the back, in the back side of uh, the stadium. And I could only still assume that I am in Yellow Gitsu 3 right now. It's the lake. Over there, beautiful lake. And uh, I appreciate all of the suggestions that some of you give on the channel. <laughs> Ooh, you guys have a lot of ideas on what I should be doing. And uh, as much as I appreciate it and I try to incorporate some of those ideas into the channel, I cannot do everything that you guys require of me. I could do some things, but not everything. And uh, I would also encourage encourage you to... Uh, I don't know. Hey. To some of you, that is, that uh, hope to be creative one day with making videos and whatnot. Uh, I encourage you to uh, write down those ideas and save them for a time when you will feel like recording the videos I mean YouTube is a huge space and it's open to everyone so you can also create a channel and start recording you know since I can't do everything we could share the space you know I try to share as much information as I can on Burundi but my main focus is the uh the scenery at large, you know, just uh, showcasing Burundi, the neighborhoods and everything. Somebody suggested that I should be interviewing people and asking them about the challenges that they face and all of that. And while that is a good idea, I just, you know, it wasn't really my intent when I created the channel. I'm an introvert anyway. I prefer just riding around. We're definitely not gonna go up there because I have a feeling I've already passed my juris my jurisdiction, if I may say so. But let's see what's over here. Because I've already gone beyond the 40 minute mark that I said that wouldn't pass. Hmm, let's see. Is there a road down here? Okay, this is a real adventure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh man, this is what I call having fun. And not... Oh yeah, by the way, to anybody that's wondering, uh, I'm not a drinker. If at all, there was anybody, any one of you that wondered, that ever had to wonder. Yeah, I don't drink. I'm not an alcohol drinker at all. Uh, occasionally I do drink, but I don't, uh, I absolutely do not do beer. I don't drink beer. It's disgusting. No disrespect to those of you that drink beer, but I don't. I don't drink beer. I find no pleasure in drinking beer whatsoever. It's not sweet. It's not tasty. But yeah, let me leave it at that because everything else I say will be an insult to the uh, to the beer drinkers. <laughs> I guess no constructions are no construction is allowed on this side. This uh, this particular bush here is preventing us from viewing the lake. And I'm pretty sure there are some really good scenes over there. See the boats over there? Fishing boats. Ah, there we go. The lake in full view.
and yeah, we'll get to up there. Water on this side is a little dirty because the waves are kicking. Mm -mm. Fishing nets. Sawa. I guess you'd call you'd call them the fishing community. I have a feeling that the camera is really not doing justice to what you guys could potentially be seeing on the opposite side. But uh, okay, I'm done with Nyawigeti. I'm not going back out there filming. From here on out, it's going to be the lake, just the lake alone. Yep, I'm going to end the video here. You know, sometimes this doesn't feel like a lake at all. It doesn't feel like the, a sea, a sea either. For some reason, a sea sounds really small to me. This is more like an ocean, really. Because if you look far beyond, you can't even really tell where it ends. Can you imagine just waking up to this every morning and going to sleep with the sound of this, to the sound of the water every night? Ah, this is what I call life right here. <laughs> 